So um, this is there's not really a whole lot of videos on YouTube talking about the differences between a uh, three element lens versus a G2 lens and the beam divergence and de uh, beam patterns between the two. Uh, it's pretty obvious that a three element lens obviously gives you much better beam divergence uh, since you have three technically three elements of glass in there that pretty much collimate the beam or uh, focus the beam to uh, smaller or lower beam divergence. Uh, now, you're not going to have perfect beam divergence with the three element lens, but you are going to get a much better beam pattern. But it does decrease the power uh, quite significantly uh, since you do have three pieces of glass that that light has to travel through and it loses power for every piece of glass that it goes through. Whereas a G2 lens is pretty much a single element lens, that's why you have worse beam divergence but more power since that laser uh, has to go through less glass. So. Here is a perfect representation of that. Uh, that wall is about 25 feet away, uh, give or take. So yeah, we're looking at about 25 feet. So we're gonna use my um, Oclaro 700, my 531 milliwatt Oclaro. We have the G2 lens on there right now. And we're going to show you, I have it pretty much focused in as close as I can. So we're gonna go all the way down here. So there is a G2 lens at about 25 feet. And here's my hand to show you guys just how large that beam actually is. It's pretty large. You're looking at at least half a foot right there in, uh, in width on that beam, not counting these outside lines. Basically, the beam starts from here to here, of course. And so you can definitely tell that it is quite large. And we're looking at definitely at least almost half a foot, so five to six inches which is not very good considering 25 feet. Uh, and if you think about it, going over a course of half a mile, you're gonna be looking at several feet, um, a lot more than several feet, probably a good 20 feet in width. So I'm not going to do a test with that quite now, uh, you know, right now. I may eventually in the future, I'm not sure I have to find a great place to do it, but yeah, so there is a G2 lens. Now I've already done uh, I've already done some testing with these types of lenses uh, on the Oclaro 700 at least on this I've driven at one amp, um, getting about 531 milliwatts on a three element and around 750 to 780 uh, with the G2, uh, but I do like the three element on this better because I use the G2 for my 405. So the best way I'm going to show you is with the TV remote. We're going to start the beam exactly where it starts right there, and so you're looking at so just to give you a nice little. Okay. So around around the mute button ish, right about here. So And then of course here is the three element. Man, look at that. That three element's not doing so good. I'm just kidding, that's what the optics taking off. It's quite amazing to see just how much power comes out of a laser diode, that little tiny hole inside the roof beyond that window. Just incredible to see how much energy comes out of one of those holes. And then, uh, and then here we are at the exact same distance with a three element lens. So you get a good, you know, a good 30% output loss, but much better beam divergence. So here we are starting it again at the tip of the remote and it is nowhere near that mute button. So yeah, it definitely increases the divergence at least two and a half times. So that's a good maybe three, two to three inches, maybe two and a half inches. No. It's about two inches, give or take. So, so there we go. That is the differences between a G2 and a three element lens. As you can see, it's a pretty significant and massive difference. That's the G2, and that's the three element. Now, I would do a test with my 405, um, but 
I would do a test with that, but unfortunately, um, it doesn't really mess with the beam divergence that much, believe it or not. And every time I try to do a test, it just burns a hole through whatever I'm aiming it at. So 